Hi guys, welcome to Mommy Monday. So this is not going to be the Mommy Monday that I had originally planned to give to you guys. I mentioned in yesterday's vlog that you guys were gonna see a bunch of really fun stuff coming up in Mommy Monday, but as I was thinking about it and I was looking at the comments you guys have been sending me on Facebook and Instagram and even TikTok, I realized that there's some questions you guys still have and also, thank you so much for all your love and concern. It's been so touching to see so many nice comments. I was just overwhelmed earlier today reading all the nice comments. So anyway, you guys have been asking so many things and I felt like I should probably give you another update. So that's what I'm gonna do today. You'll see the kids' reactions, more detail about how we're social distancing, what we're doing around our house and all that kind of stuff because yesterday's vlog was just me sitting in my room like this. So. It'll be a little different. It'll be a Mommy Monday. It's going to be different than normal, but it's not going to be the one I have planned for you guys. We'll get that video later. So anyway, you'll notice my bed doesn't have sheets on it. So something I did today was I decided to take all the bed sheets off, wash them, wash my pajamas, like all that kind of stuff. Just trying to keep germs out as much as we can so they're not harboring. It's one thing I've been doing. Um, I also got some Listerine mouthwash that has alcohol in it. My mom told me that you know, it's not always recommended to use the mouthwashes with alcohol, but she said that it could be beneficial to try to like kill the germs in your mouth by using an alcohol-based mouthwash. So I got this Listerine one, it's not that bad. Usually I hate them because they're way too spicy for me, but I got that, I've been using it. As I showed you guys yesterday, I've been taking all my vitamins, giving my kids all their vitamins, including extra zinc and vitamin C. So, I mean, we're doing fairly well. I'm not sweating as much today as I was yesterday. Um, my eye pain is worse though today. I noticed when I woke up today my eyes kind of hurt and like right here You can kind of tell my eyes look a little bit swollen um, Other than that, I don't have a lot of bad symptoms I feel like every evening I kind of get a little mild fever, but not a really big fever um, Today the other thing I noticed and I'm sorry. I'm saying um, I'm just talking to you guys <laughs> trying to just keep it real but um I said it again. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't not say um. I think it's a habit. <laughs> Literally lost my train of thought there. Okay, the thing I was gonna tell you I have developed since yesterday's update about 24 hours ago is that I have kind of a cough, not a lot, but like a little cough. So I've coughed a few times today randomly in my voice. I feel like it sounds a little bit lower. So you could tell there's something going on. I'm obviously not fully healthy, but I mean, I'm just, seriously so so thankful that I was blessed with parents that gave me a good immune system and that I am not taking this really hard I'm so thankful for that I'm not saying that it's over for sure still I'm not gonna jinx myself but as of right now I'm really really thankful that I've been blessed to not have one of the worst cases of this virus because like I said I was really worried that that could be the case for me because I didn't know so um, I told you guys I'm changing the bed sheets. We're trying to sanitize a lot. We're trying to like wipe down like countertops and stuff. I have a little spray bottle of alcohol and I can spray off my mouse and things like that on my computer. But I thought you guys would like to see the kids' reactions and some other stuff around the house. So I'm gonna show you guys that stuff now. Obviously, I've let the laundry go. Matt's tried to help. I mean, that's something. He folded like four things. <laughs> but um, he's also sleeping in this bed. So he's sleeping near me, but he's not sleeping in the same bed with me, but that way he can just check on me because I was a little nervous to be completely alone. Besides, he was sleeping with me the night before I was, when I was sick. So I feel like, and he feels also that if we were exposed, we were already exposed because we were with each other the whole like two days or so when I didn't even know I was exhibiting any symptoms. So we kind of feel like everyone in my family is exposed already or they will be exposed. So. That's one reason that we're not completely staying away from each other and isolating me in a room because we feel like we're probably all gonna get it at some point anyway. So, you know, that, that's our take on it. I know everyone has different opinions and different feelings on how these things should be handled, but that's how my family's handling it. I'm down here by Alyssa and David's room. Are you in there, David? Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good. Notice David has the Clorox wipes. We actually replaced Alyssa's dresser recently, which is why her dresser is sitting in the hallway, her old dresser. But um, David, I was gonna ask you, how did you feel when you found out I had coronavirus? Shocked. <laughs> yeah. I thought you wouldn't have it. Yeah. Like when we were going to get tested, I thought maybe you just had a cold or something like that. Yeah. Are you filming a TikTok with Alyssa? Yeah, I'm just looking for like, things to put on. <laughs> now I'm gonna check on Alyssa. Oh, looks like she's filming a TikTok. Hello. 
<laughs> Hi. <laughs> what are your thoughts on me having coronavirus? Well, it was pretty scary because I've heard some bad things about coronavirus, so I didn't really know how it was going to be. Yeah. Here's Michael. Michael, how are you feeling? Now just so you guys can know, I'm not standing too close to Michael, I'm just zooming in on him so you guys can see him, but do you have any other thoughts about mommy being sick? Well, we can't do many things like travel anymore, and hopefully it goes away in 14 days or something. Yeah. Are you worried about yourself getting sick? Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully you won't get sick though, right? Yeah. Do you miss hugging me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to air hug right now. I like that hug. <laughs> I'm just gonna head outside for a second because I want to look for Zach, Chris, and Matt, and I think they're out here. Quick garden update. Our basil smells so good. There's a bee on that one right there. Also, look how pretty my hibiscus are doing. I've been trying to take some time outside every day and just enjoy nature and get some fresh air, but yeah, it was really weird, like, seeing that positive test result. I was kind of like, is this real? Is this really happening? I mean, I don't know. Still doesn't even feel real, actually. I found Matt and Zach and Chris. Looks like they're filming a video. Can I interrupt you guys to ask you some questions from a distance? Okay. Okay. So I was just going to get your thoughts and feelings on how it was when you found out I had coronavirus. Well, it was like, first I was shocked, I was like, you have coronavirus? I was really scared for you, and I was super scared. And At first I didn't really believe you, but then you, yeah. like, kept saying it, and I knew, and then I was really scared. Yeah, I was shocked, and at the same time, I being really scared. Yeah, I don't think they really wanted to believe it. Yeah. I just felt bad for you, honestly, because yeah, you had started to have a few things, and I said, oh, you know, that seems normal, you know, you're... Muscles are a little sore, and I didn't think you had coronavirus, but then we started talking about you getting tested for it, and I thought it was a great idea, and you didn't want to get tested. We convinced you to, and... I was a little nervous for the test, maybe more for the results, I don't know. Yeah, but fortunately, <laughs> it hasn't been horrible like some people have had, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's still bad, but at least it's not really bad. And you guys are all feeling okay still? My yeah. back really hurts because I've been sleeping in the kids' special bed. <laughs> yeah. I woke up this morning. I couldn't even lay flat on my back. My back hurts so bad. I was stretching. And... I thought it was a good mattress, too, which is weird. I know. It's just the way I slept, I guess. I don't know. Alyssa just joined us. Oh, my God. And she and David filmed a funny TikTok. <laughs> Let's do another one. Come on. They get Kona this time. Alyssa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of weird social distancing to a degree in our own house. Yeah. But it's kind of nice because the kids are sleeping in their own bedrooms now. <laughs> yeah, instead of camping out in our room. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we're, we're staying apart, but we're not like, you know, I guess, hiding me off in a closet or anything like that. I did want to address one more thing. A lot of you guys had asked or brought up if perhaps our friends that are like family to us that we saw on 4th of July had maybe been asymptomatic and brought coronavirus to me. And I would think the answer is definitely no to that. The reason I think that is because they've been staying completely isolated in their house, just like we have, probably even more than we have really. And also the mom, because of her line of work, gets tested regularly for it. And also if one of them was asymptomatic, you'd think that at least one of their large family would also have gotten sick. So that's my line of thinking. I'm still obviously not sure where I got it, but that's just kind of like, I'm sure you guys know, like once you start thinking about things, your wheels are turning and you're just like wondering and digging and playing out scenarios. And so I've thought of like every scenario, don't worry. Well, I'm sure there's probably something I haven't thought of, but I mean, I've got plenty of time to think right now. Nice trick. Good job. I have a Mommy Monday question for you. Okay. And it's which of the boys do you think that you're closest to? Hmm. That's a hard question, but David's right behind the camera trying to convince me the answer. 
I don't know. Every day I'm spending time with a different brother, so I can't choose. Something else about Owen is that I'm not changing him first thing in the morning anymore, so he's kind of like hanging out in his jammies, but that's okay. I have a question for you, Owen. How do you feel about mommy having coronavirus? Do you feel sad because mommy's sick? Yeah. Are you sad right now? Yeah, I know. That's why mommy needs to be able to hug the baby. I think he's just trying to not think about it, huh? I think it's hardest for Owen. We also picked up some books lately and we've been reading as a family. These are books I've read, my kids have already read, but we didn't own them, so I got them recently and we've been enjoying it. It's been kind of nice just to sit down, no devices. We've been doing a lot less devices, even though I should probably let my kids play iPads more right now, just based on the fact that I'm not like 100%, but we're really enjoying reading as a family and it's a nice quarantine activity for sure. And of course, right next to my computer, I've got my thermometer, sanitizer, and my water. Here's my flowers Matt got me when I first got my diagnosis. They're still doing nicely. Right now I'm boiling some water because I'm about to stain treat a shirt. Nobody's in here with me and everybody's doing their own stuff, but Michael got some red juice on his shirt today, so I'm gonna stain treat it. And I actually showed this in a video a long time ago, <clears throat> but it's been a long time. It's been like five years or more. So I'm gonna show you guys my little trick that I use to get red stains out of clothing. Here's the shirt. I'm just gonna lay it over this dish and you can see all those stains. My water is at a full boil. So I'm carefully taking it off the stove, making sure no kids come running around a corner. And I'm gonna bring it over to my clothes and pour it right over that stain. And you will see those stains disappear before your eyes. I'll just let it sit for a second and I'll pour a little more boiling water on it and it should be gone. Pretty good trick, huh? Now you can never say I didn't give you some kind of important or unique advice in one of my vlogs. What are you guys doing? A TikTok and it's really funny. Another funny TikTok. Really funny though, like really. Just start good. laughing. <laughs> Quality content. Oh yeah. Here, ready? <laughs> So look, here's the hose right there. And look, he's walking out of his mouth. <laughs> okay, that actually is really funny. <laughs> Very creative. Yeah. Little update on Owen. He got a shower finally and got ready for the day. But he just asked me, is this hee hee's house or our house? And I asked what he thought. What do you think, Owen? Is this hee hee's house or our house? Still, he's house, not ours. That's what he said. Okie dokie. Okay guys, well, we're gonna say goodbye. I guess I'm gonna say goodbye at least. But I wanna let you guys know that I'm thankful for all the love and support and I also wanna leave you with a message of hope that I don't think you should feel scared, especially if you're younger and you're watching this. Don't be scared, I'm gonna be okay, all right? So we love you guys. Thank you so much for watching us and we'll see you next time. Bye.